Hello and welcome to this vMix live show, live from the NAB uh, show in Las Vegas 2016. For those that don't know, vMix is all about live production and streaming. So we provide hardware and software solutions that make it really easy to create an amazing live production. And in fact, this show right now that you're watching is produced entirely on vMix. Uh, so my name is Martin Sinclair, I'm the founder of vMix, and for this uh, demo session today, what I'll be talking about is audio functionality. How to use the audio mixer in vMix, the features that are available, and how, some tips and tricks on how you can get the best out of audio when using vMix. So what I can do is I can show you the desktop capture of our production and show you some of the aspects of audio. So this is the desktop capture uh, right here. So you can see we have all of our inputs over on the left, but what we want to show you today is the audio mixer over here on the right. And you can see various audio meters and volume controls for our production. We have master. Master controls the final program output. This controls whatever is going out to the stream, whatever is going out to the recording, or even what is going out to the external output. So you can see we've got a volume fader here, we have a cog icon to adjust the settings on the program out. We have a mute on or off button, so you can completely mute the live program output if you're in between segments like we are in our live show. And then you have a headphones volume control. So this headphones control allows you to independently set the volume of what you hear if you're using headphones to monitor the production versus what the audience hears. So you may want it turned down a little bit for your headphones, for example. And these are all the various audio sources that we have available in vMix. Uh, we have our microphones. So this is just coming from a standard analog audio mixer. Um, and then we have various um, items of shots, such as this is a camera shot over here. This is our playlist, which has a various video clips we play during the interval of our live show. This is the intro video. This is background music. And so you can see anything that has audio is going to show up as a source here in the production. And you can independently control all of the audio levels by dragging these volume controls up and down. You can turn them on, you can turn them off. So that's the basic uh, feature overview of the audio mixer. So now you know how to, you can see all the sources here in the audio mixer. By the way, you click the tab over here in the bottom right to enable or disable it. You want to see all your inputs and then you can dock that to the side. You can also, in fact, undock the audio control and have that running on a separate monitor. Uh, so I can open that up full screen and it gives me a nice full view of the audio mixing functionality in vMix. So that's pretty unique, being able to dock it and move it around to different monitors and displays. Uh, one other additional uh, feature you have here is called the follow audio button or the automatic audio mixing button. So consider it this way, you're doing a live show and you want your microphone to stay turned on at all times. You would untick like we have here the follow button so that it is gray like it is now. That way the microphone is always on. And of course you can assign a keyboard shortcut to your keyboard to turn that on or off if you want to turn it on or off when you're cutting to video clips and things like that. But you may have some audio sources that only want to be live when they're playing, you know, video clips or even NDI audio sources, things like that. To do that, simply click the two arrows button on the shot, and that way whenever that shot is live, whenever it's on the output, it will automatically turn the audio on. When it's moved out of the output, it will automatically turn the audio off. So the follow automatic audio mixing feature is quite powerful in that it helps you in your production. You don't have to worry about it anymore. You just, you know when it's output, people, your audience will be able to hear it, but you'll also have the confidence that even if it's not out there, say it's an extra microphone of somebody who's not currently um, talking about anything, you don't want their background chatter to appear in your live stream. So that's what that does. And then if you've got headphones on and you want to monitor uh, a single audio source during the show, you click the solo button. So I can solo the microphone so that only I hear the microphone in my headphones, but the live stream is still hearing everything. So that's great to check. Is the audio level of this microphone coming up? Is that audio level uh, at the right level? And in fact, if you cl click the solo button on an audio source that's unmuted, you will be able to hear it in your headphones without them being able to hear it. So you may want to queue up in the preview of video clip and to solo it and to hear uh, what happens with the audio that way. So that's it, the basics of the audio mixing functionality. But one of the powerful new features in recent versions of vMix is the ability to do audio effects on each channel independently. 
So you can go to master, for example, and you can see here I can set a gain. I can turn on automatic gain control. I have an EQ to fine tune a microphone's EQ. Maybe it's bass heavy and I can turn down the bass level here. Or I can in turn on compression. So compression will reduce the loudness or the variability of audio. So when the audio reaches a certain level, it'll start lowering the volume automatically. Keep the audio within a certain range. Um, so you can choose four to one, you can choose the threshold of when the compression kicks in. And finally, we have noise gate. Noise gate will automatically cut out the audio at a certain decibel level. So this is set at negative 100, so no audio is getting cut out. But I could set that to around 50 or something, and the noise gate will kick in if the audio drops below 49. So say you have a low hum in your microphone that for what analog noise or whatever, you're unable to isolate that in the audio desk. From vMix, you can enable a noise gate, so at least when that microphone is not being used, the audience will not hear any audio. So that's great for noisy environments as well. And you can see here we have a post audio meter. So the post audio meter shows the final level, but if I go to something like the microphones, you can see pre and post. So you can see how the various audio level settings that we've configured affect the output. Pre is roar audio coming in directly from the source without any change. No volume adjustments, no compression, gain, and so on. Post is after all of those audio effects have been added to the production. So post, um, if for example we increase the gain, the post level is going to be a lot louder than the pre-level. And you can see down here the peak audio levels in dBFS. So dBFS is a decibel range called full range. It represents the full range of digital audio available in your production. So zero dB recommends the, represents the maximum audio level you can have in your production. Um, so if, it, if you're regularly hitting zero dB, you want to turn down the audio level at the source just so it doesn't clip. So zero dB. Uh, represents the clipping level of that digital audio. So you can see here now as I'm talking, uh, the, it might reach zero every now and then, but it's within the range of around negative six to zero. And that's what you sort of want to target with your audio level of microphones. Somewhere between negative six and zero is a good range to keep the audio. And you can use things like compression and gain and automatic gain control to try to keep the audio at that level as much as possible. Also, with some microphone sources, you may want a raw hardware source. So that's what the device volume is right here. So this controls the if you've got an analog audio device plugged in. So you can fine tune that device volume there. So that's sort of like an analog gain control. So that's the audio settings. And that is an amazing thing. You've got all of those audio effects independently across all audio sources in vMix. Um, in fact, you have it on master as well. Um, so you can fine tune things and then you can do a master compression to make sure all audio is within the same audio level. So in addition, in addition to all of that, we have three separate mixes available in vMix. You have the master mix, which is what you're hearing right now in the live stream or the live recording. You also have A and B. These are independent audio mixes available in vMix. For example, I can turn on the microphones in NA and make sure that's the only one. So the A mix only has microphones now. As you can see, none of the A ones are enabled. And I can route that audio A output using the settings audio outputs tab. So as you see here, I have a headphone set to my default Windows playback device. I can set A to any of the audio devices on the system. Maybe you have a separate audio output. You can use ASIO audio sources. So for those who don't know, ASIO audio interfaces like USB boxes you can buy from most electronics retailers. It's an electronic box that has analog audio inputs and it connects via USB. Vmix supports accessing all of those audio inputs independently. And that's through a technology called ASIO. So you can select those sources there, and then from here you can select any one of those channels, up to 32. So if it's a 32 channel audio source, there are mixes out there that provide 32 audio outputs. You can select the output of A to go to any of those channels. And now you have an independent mix coming out of vMix that just has one source. For example, in some productions we've been um, a part of, you may want the background music, or the video playlist, or the, these ones sent to A so that they have a mix of just that, and then they can combine that with the microphones and then send that back in. 
Uh, so that's some of the functionality of the uh, vMix audio capabilities. Um, a couple of the new things in audio in vMix 17 are brand new audio meters that show a much larger range, spanning from zero to well beyond negative 90 dB. This is great for analog sources where you have a small amount of audio that you want to verify at very low volumes. Um, it's also great for monitoring. You can just move your mouse over it like that and you can see the peak level of both left and right channels as it's going out to the stream or in any of the other sources indeed independently here. So I can monitor them and see what the audio levels are um, as it's going out. And we have a whole lot of different features in here. All audio sources that you can add to vMix include video clips. You can add the ASO audio interfaces, those USB boxes I mentioned earlier. You can add audio files, WAV and MP3. You can also add audio from NDI. So NDI is one of the big new features in, in uh, vMix 17. NDI, for those who don't know, is all about connecting devices over the network at low latency and high broadcast quality. So you could connect one session of vMix on PCA to another session of vMix on PCB. But not only can you send the video between those two, you can send all of the audio mixes, both master, which is the M, A, and B audio sources. So that's just some of the features in the vMix audio mixer available now in vMix 17. You can go to our website at vmix.com and download a 60-day trial and try out all of these audio mixing features on your local computer. You can connect up a webcam, see the audio from that, plug in a microphone into your laptop, play around with it, try the effects, auto gain control is pretty cool. If you've got a, a laptop microphone, you want that level to be up at the entire time during your entire stream. You can turn down the microphone level, in fact, on that. So if you're monitoring your entire show, like you're doing a game stream, and you want the microphones not to be heard in your headphones, you can go to the microphone, you can turn this down like it is right now. So if I plugged in headphones, I wouldn't hear the microphone, but I'd hear everything out, like video sources and NDI and things like that. So I hope that helps uh, give you an idea of some of the audio functionality available in vMix. Thanks for watching.